Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Side Blogger, and today I have a new Canva tutorial about a new and exciting feature. It's called Typecraft. Basically, it allows you to make funky text. It gives you a new option to play around with text and shapes of a text um, than the features that you already have. So let me show you how to do it. I will go ahead and create a new design on Canva. So I usually like to play around with the square shape quite a bit. It's just easy to create tutorials. So I chose an Instagram square template size. Uh, let's give it a name, test, text, or sorry, type craft, like so. And then let's say that um, I want this to be an Instagram post about an upcoming blog editing workshop, a free, a free blog editing workshop that I had been working on. So this is going to be that. Let's give it a color, a gradient color, maybe like so. Um, maybe choose a bit of a different color like that. Hmm. something like that. All right. And this is going to be a free tutorial uh, or a free workshop actually. What is this? Oh, Grammarly. I am signed out of Grammarly. That's fine. I don't need to be on Grammarly right now. And choose a different font, maybe this one. I'm not thinking too hard about the font style and whatnot because this is a tutorial. I just want to show you the the typecraft thing. So I'm not there yet. I haven't started using typecraft yet, but let's just play around with it a little bit like so. Free workshop, my website, the site, blogger.com. Like that, maybe change the font width and the color as well. Something like that. I'm going to copy it and then do that. I didn't have to copy it because it already took the color. I don't know why I did that, but anyway. So now use, uh, let's use Typecraft. And here's the thing. Typecraft is not available in the editing panel or under the text panel here either. Um, in order to use Typecraft, the new feature that we're about to see, you have to use a separate app. So go to the Apps tab on the left, and then you should see Typecraft um, under the Featured list of apps because it's a new app, so they're showing it. But if you don't see it, like it should probably go away in a few days or something, um, just go to the search box and start typing type craft. And then that should pop up, click it, and then click it again. That will add type craft to your left menu, like so. And then in order to add, um, stylized text first input the text in the text box over here not on your design that's the difference to use typecraft you have to use that you have to use the um, designated text box right over here on the top left so i am going to type editing that's going to be my um, text actually i will do it all caps editing like so and then I'll choose a font style and let's see which font do I want I don't want anything too funky um, maybe that one should do for the tutorial and then you have some styles available no style unfilled like just the outline but nothing inside or outline text so something is filled 
it's a filled text with an outline I don't really want anything too crazy no outlines I just I'll just click none I don't want any weird styles so now you will you should see that the editing word has been added to the edit shape box and it has if you follow my mouse the yellow blob it has some handles quite a few actually now here's what happens you can click any of those circular handles and then start moving it around like so and as you can see it keeps changing shapes depending on how you um, pull it or push it or whatever how you move it around basically so play around with it it's it's really fun actually I had been playing around with quite a bit to create different types of shapes and um, earlier today I was creating a fish type shape something like that but anyway you can feel free to you know play around with it however you want it even folds like this although when you do it you can't really actually read what's written there but anyway play around with it and then if you don't like what's happening you can always click the reset shape button right here and it goes back to normal and then you can start over again so I just want something pretty simple like that and yeah that's basically it I think I like that so once you are satisfied with the shape click add element to design the purple button right here at the very bottom and that should add it add that shaped text to your design now from there you can you know make the text bigger or smaller like so by pulling the corners with your mouse but the shape remains intact like so free workshop let's make it a little bigger an all in one line like that trying to center it <laughs> okay all right um, actually let's make it a little darker um, like so I will copy the style and say a blog post so editing a blog post is gonna be the name of my um, workshop free workshop that I've been working on and this is going to be my Instagram graphic for when I start promoting it on my Instagram and let's make it actually it's let's do it like that I just I, I think I that really a darker shade looks better on top of the orange color orange background so this is it this is how you use typecraft to create interesting shapes with your texts and just to recap a little bit um, if you don't see the typecraft app on your left palette panel you shouldn't have it if you're if you have never tried it before so I'll just click the cross button and it's gone so to bring it back you just have to go to apps on the left panel and then type typecraft in the search box to bring it up click it once again to add it to your left menu left panel like so and then type whatever word you wish to type it can be word or a string of words um, but as you can see it's uh, it's all in one line so it's better if you don't have too much text with that it's it's meant for you to stylize like really make something really make a text pop and you can do that if you only have one or two words at most so I wouldn't like do it with a full sentence or something just one or two words maybe one two or three that should be it uh, type whatever you want like so choose your font um, you have a list of fonts available choose whichever one you want you can specify a style no style unfilled style or outline style 
Uh, if you have an outline, you can choose the color of the outline um, or the text color and the color of the outline. You can choose both, like so. Um, and if you don't want any outline, you can just click None in the style and the outline goes away. You can choose the text color, something like that if you want. Um, and then down here, you can play around with the handles here, with the shape, play around with it. If you don't like how it's coming up, um, click the reset shape button and it goes back to how it was before. And then you can start playing around with again. Go crazy, don't go crazy. I don't like going too crazy, so <laughs> whatever. Um, something like that maybe and then once you're satisfied click add element to design and that adds it to your design and once it's added you can make it bigger or smaller by using the four corners and that's it I'm gonna delete that because I don't want it but yeah that's the that's the idea basically typecraft creates interesting texts and that's today's tutorial hopefully you will have something new to play around today um, Canva keeps giving us these new things that it, they're so much fun to just play around with. Um, but anyway, there are some things that I like to play around with, but I don't actually use them. But I feel like Typecraft is one of those features that I will, I see myself using it quite a bit because they're really cool, they're really interesting. And if you're someone who works with a lot of text, who enjoys working with different text style and font style, then you're going to love Typecraft. Anyway, that's it for today, and I will see you in a different video sometime soon.